Good morning, home builders. We're starting a new series uh, of devotions called The Gospel in You, a new series by Paul Chapel. And uh, this one, a uh, first day, talks about abundant grace. It ties right in with our Sunday school lesson that we had uh, this past week and the week before, talking about those faithful sayings uh, of, of Jesus Christ. We find ourselves in Titus chapter 3, verses 4 through 7. It says, But after that, the kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appeared not by works of righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Now we're talking about the grace of God and the abundancy of it. Everywhere we go, everything we do, there is a scarcity or a limit of what that is. There's a limit on our time. Uh, there's a limit on our resources. There's a limit on where we can go, what we can do. And when we think of the limitation, it causes things not to get done that we'd like to get done. Uh, it causes uh, shortages in different areas. But you know what? The gospel of Christ is not that way. The grace of God is and is, is an inexhaustible source. When Jesus Christ died on the cross for our sin and he rose from the dead, he, has, he provided grace for each of us to come and accept him as, his, as, his, as our savior. And it doesn't matter if I got saved and now there's not enough for someone else. No, everyone that accepts Christ as their savior can be saved. And it's this inexhaustible source. It continues to grow, if you want to think of it that way. Or once it's taken, it's not di it's not diminished in any any facet. And it's more than just saving grace. It's also the grace that we need to live our lives, because He's given it to us for times of trials and times of struggle. We read in First uh, Peter four ten. It says, "As every man hath received the gift, talking of grace, even so minister the same one to another as good stewards of the manifold grace of God." It's there for all of us. It's there for our situations. You might be struggling today, and that grace is there. You might have some some other troubles. He's there for you, and and that as well. He's there for us when we've when we've had errors. You know, we've had uh, shortages in our life. He's there to help us in that. He's help there to help us when we sin in life again as well. The grace of God is always there for us, and it is inexhaustible. And for that, I say Amen. Especially on a Monday, right? Let that sink in. Let that be in your heart today. And uh, so as we think today, today's thought is God's overflowing grace provides both salvation and victory for daily living. And I hope that brings joy to your heart today as you go through this, this bleak Monday that we have going on outside. Have a good day. I love you guys. Bye.